tonight with an attendance record of over 7,000 fans. 7,000 fans, and it was our first meet of the year at home in which Arkansas had the best floor score in the country. Yes, they're hoping to do it again. Very nicely done, double pike. And like you said, that very first meet, the students weren't in school yet. That's right. So to see this crowd so packed, play up to these floor teams, it really helps your confidence when you're on floor when you see everyone up on their feet for you. Round up one and a half, round it back hamstring, double pull. So nice. She almost lose her at 410, yes. so she has to have a big personality <laughs> on the floor. She does. Again, another leadoff role for her. Much like Aria, what I was just referencing to, she's been that person for this team that really gets them off to a good start, and you want that. Just that last pass here. Double tag. Wow, what a way to start for Calista. Gets those students yes. involved. And you can hear that crowd. <laughs> what a way to start this rotation. The freshman's first true taste of having a crowd like this. See how she does. I feel like I'm getting ready for a bullfight with this yes. music. <laughs> She has a lot of power on this first pass. Front layout step out through to double tuck. Very nicely done. That is not an easy pass to do. And she learned it in about two weeks, so that makes it even more impressive. What kind of confidence or momentum does that give you early in a routine? Oh yeah, when you nail your first pass like that, especially your freshman year, and you're feeding off this energy. You just have to stay focused though. You can't get too far ahead like I've referred to a couple times tonight. You gotta take it one skill at a time. And you can tell she take a really deep breath there, gearing for this next pass. Out of back handspring, double pike. Very nicely done. It's a great routine for the freshman. And she, I think she's a little bit of a gamer. She really comes to when that flag goes up from the judge. And that's a great quality to have in the freshman. She'll be pleased with that performance. Yes, yeah, she should. Take a look at her first pain. And she's at a 9.925 and a 9.9 so far this year on the floor for the Gym Max. I think Maddie is a, a little bit of an underrated uh, floor worker in the nation, not just at Arkansas. She brings such beautiful dance, and her first pass is very difficult, and she executes it very well. And she has just been on fire for Arkansas. She has been one of the most consistent performers. So nicely done. Honestly, she has one of the best front double pulls, maybe in the nation. Switch ring, switch half. Playing it out to the judge right there. Round up one and a half, front layout. Very nice. Well, she had to move time to perfectly she with did. the music, that didn't she? That was very nicely done. <laughs> and she is such a performer on this event. Rudy, so nice. 
She continues to put up the scores. Yeah, I would expect that to be another 9-9 range for Matt. Have a 9-9. And I just love this routine for Leah. I think it really fits her personality. She plays it up to the crowd. And when she hits this first pass, she really gets into it. So she has the same first pass that Haley did earlier. Front layout, through to double tuck. That was explosive. Wow. <laughs> that was huge. In college gymnastics, you obviously, you've seen the girls, they stick and they can take a step. Absolute, but no step was needed for Leah. She just needs to breathe, breathe here, stay focused. And a little sass. Yeah, a little sass, <laughs> playing it up to that judge. you could see Coach Weaver's reaction to that. That was amazing. Wow. <laughs> Deservedly so. That was huge. The crowd's calling for the 10. It would be 10, but I thought it might be a little bit closer to that 9-9, 9-9-5 range. You um, see yeah. And you see the average there for Lauren Williams. That is second best in the SEC. Of course, she had a 9.95 at our first meet of the year here. And she can do a huge full in. Wow. Doesn't move that front pass. Goes out of frame. And this is really where she shines. And when, like I said, when that crowd is really into it, she feeds off that energy. That's a stare, too. Yes. She has really found her leadership and seriousness and everything this year. Just a sophomore. So we get two more years after this of Lauren Williams. Switch side, Popa. Get that crowd involved. Yes, I love it. Signature worm. The crowd loved that one. <laughs> Just that last pass, double tuck. Can she get the landing? She did. Huge! Again, I said I put her on 10 watch on any event she goes on. And I think she's going to call for one right here. I Yeah, I'll call for it. <laughs> I've been wrong every time, but I'm calling for it this time. I mean, the joy and emotion right there is pretty crazy from Lauren Williams. And you can hear the crowd. They're calling for it, too. Lauren Williams, Arkansas, putting up another big floor performance. And maybe, maybe we're just building up to the 10 here. That's just what the judges were trying to do. <laughs> and the performance level that Frankie brings to floor in her dance is unmatched. Huge double layout. Very nicely done. Dances right out of it. She's even kind of singing along to it while she dances. <laughs> Switch side. Popa, Popa. Very difficult lead pass. She had to add that added difficulty because she only does two passes, so she has to get some of her difficulty from her leaps. You can see Leah Smith in the corner dancing with her. Now she'll turn for the seriousness of this pass. Just that last pass, front full, front lay. Very nicely done. Wow. 
What a routine for Frankie. That's a way to bring it home in that, that routine. Is.